An unlikely source is spreading the word on how to make sure your farm stays in the family. Reporter Jordan Rodriguez has some advice on how to make sure your farm stays generational. An attorney from German Law, a North Dakota law firm, discussed ways to preserve wealth for future generations, minimize estate taxes, and avoid probate. For making sure family or friends taking over maintain the assets to preventing your family from arguing over the division of the farm. And if we don't have it done properly, now assets are going to go uh, not necessarily to us, the child that's going to take over the farmer business. They're going to go to everyone, and now it's split up where the farming child doesn't have an opportunity to uh, continue that, that farm into the future. Attorney John Elkies says keeping assets in the family can be difficult, especially when you have to sell off land in order to cover other expenses. But one way to make sure nothing happens to your possessions is making sure you have an estate plan in place. An estate plan is just to how you want your assets to go to the next generation. Or if you don't have a next generation that you want to send it to uh, a charitable organization or, or whoever you want to take care of in the future. Uh, it could be a will, could be a trust. The state actually has one set up for you in the, in the statutes called intestacy if you don't set one up yourself. Olke says there are only about 17% of farms nationwide that have an estate plan in order. But you don't have to do this all alone. There are seminars talking to farmers and local business owners both, making sure you have everything in order and knowing what you need to do before you step into an attorney's office. You know what issues you're going to face, you know what's important to you, and you can kind of direct the conversation at that time instead of having uh, everything just be shoot from the hip when you go into an attorney's office. These seminars are free and are usually held in the winter when farmers have more time. For KX News, I'm Jordan Rodriguez. If you're interested and want to make sure you don't miss the next seminar, just go to kxnet.com to find out more.